Morning, Jason. Morning, Kevin. What have we got today? There's two hours filming, isn't there? Yeah. One, two. Yeah. So what would you call that? A duo. A duo. Well done. Yeah. And I have a duo for you. Who doesn't like a Roma Rome? Everybody likes it. Everybody yeah. likes a Roma Rome. Everybody thinks, especially the uh, over the pond. The other side of the Atlantic. They do. They like dinky ones, don't they? We have a 2006 Kevin mm. Roma Home Duo, and it's an Outlook. What do you think? Mm. Big window, you can look out of it. Outlook. Yeah. Is that why they call it an Outlook? Because you've got a big window that you can look out of. I don't know, Kevin. Yeah, I'd say something. <clears throat> it's very busy on here, isn't it? It's like it's been busy on it over the Easter weekend. It has. We've got. Somebody coming on in a camper yeah, van. Look at that. A camelot. Yeah, for the little trailer. We could just do a video, the van's coming back, can't we? Yeah. And do a quick review. Yeah. Put your head in like that. I could just stand still there then, couldn't I? That's what you do anyway. If you got me a chair I could sit down. That's what you do anyway. <laughs> well true. Yeah, but I've got repetitive strain injury. Holding the camera. Anyway, let's get back onto it. It's 2006, Kevin. Uh, 1.9 turbo diesel, a two berth. We've got a couple of belted seats in there, which are lap belts. We'll show you again. Great little micro camper. We do loads of these. Really, really popular vans. Great van if there's just one or two of you to get started into camper vaning. Because around about the 20k, going to get you a nice little camper van. Um, great service history this has got on it. And it's 4.7 meters in length, Kev. 4.7. Hey. You're nearly bigger than this. Yeah. So, did you open the lockers? No. Alright. You're only two of them. Water, diesel. Diesel, water. Don't get them mixed up. You don't need to tell me that. Okay. And um, what's that one then? Is that just a locker? That's just storage. Okay. Habitation door on the back. Yep. We have the LPG locker. Yeah. Yep. Electric kick up point. Now these. These are the ones that. Uh, I'm going to pinch that one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> these are the ones that uh, you'll have to change the camping gas when Calla finish the. You probably will do. Yeah. yeah, you probably will do. Watch out so you don't get run over. Yeah. We've just lost our van, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> Where all these plans and all our vans have disappeared. It's getting stolen. Let's get on. It's on a Citroen Bolingo uh, chassis. Um, let's get inside, let's have a look at the cab. Let's, um, we've done a load of these different type of Roma homes, high lows, duos, outlooks. Any other type of Roma homes you can think of, Kev? Uh, no, they do the Mazan, but that's not by Roma home, is it? No, that's an auto sleeper you I know, yeah, but same sort of thing. You just point the cab. I'll, put, I'll keep the mouth shut. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the cab there, Kev. Can you get in? There's a big step here. Just standard Bilingo. Yeah, as you see, so on the Citroen Bilingo, what you're getting is the um, cassette. Yeah. Um, and we're getting, see just there as well, let me just point to that. That's what we put the fridge on 12 volts when we're driving along, so it we is, can yeah. keep it cool. Is that a cassette player? A uh, cassette player, mate, yeah, retro. Do you, do you get a pencil? Retro. With, do you get a pencil with it? What for? There we have. What do you need, why do you need a pencil when you've got a cassette player? Because it gets stuck. Yeah, or for wires to tape up. <laughs> now, if we do have a younger audience watching us today, <laughs> the cassette was a device used for playing music. Um, your streaming wasn't available in them days. Um, there was the advent of a disc, which we did call a CD. And a CD went in just like a cassette did there. We're not talking cassette toilets, we're talking a cassette player. At, before the CD, did we have the video? We did, we had the video, didn't we? And we also had the 8-track, do you remember the 8-track? The 8-track, the big bulky ones. Mm -hmm. We did, Kevin. We also had something called a record. Yeah. Now we had the 12-inch, didn't we? Ah, they're back we into them, six inch. Vinyl's back in. Vinyl is yeah. back in. They were made, made, out, they made out of vinyl, and then you put it on. Now, what the cassette was really good for was, when you were played, you got your, what was called as a music centre. <laughs> yeah. Not a phone. It was a music centre, and you'd put the record on, you'd play the record, and you had a cassette, which is a little bit like that size. You pushed in, pressed down, and you could record the music that you were playing on your record. 
You could record off the radio as well. You could also do that as well. You could make your own mixtapes. You used to have to stop it when they, when they started talking. You Didn't you just? Yeah. <laughs> And then start again. Try to do Luxembourg. Try yeah, to do you'd the have top. all your different mixtapes, wouldn't you? The top so 40. When you were out in your car with your cassette, if you're out with your friends, you could have your mixtape. If you're out on a date, you could have your smoochy mixtape. You could have all different types of mixtapes. You didn't have to then go onto your phone and then have to think about what you're going to play because there was too much choice nowadays. It was simple. It was easy. Anyway, <laughs> Rome, Rome, come on. You're rambling. I'm rambling here. She's not a ram ramble up. No. Get yourself over there, Kev, so we can show this back. Oh dear. Up. It's a 2006. Don't forget, we are talking now, what, 17 years old. Yeah. Um, not bad material. It's, it's, not, not, it's not showing its age, really. Not really, no. A bit faded, though, which you're going to get 17 years old. We've got a cracking skylight above. Big skylight. The size of that. It is a windy one. Yeah. So you wind up and down. And then we do get the blinds. Fly screen and then nice, nice big windows. Oh, good size windows and then click clacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clicky clackies, clicky clackies, and then there he goes. So great for chilling out, sitting there, watching the world go around. Um, what we get in here, a little control panel as well. So that's to operate the leisure battery, that's to operate the vehicle battery. We've got a pump, we've got lights. There you go. And then we have the fuses, which are a glass that's fuse. Simple. It is nice and simple there, Kevin. Just move back. We have got a two burner hob, which is plenty for a little roam roam. Yeah. We even get in a grill and we get in a three way fridge. Three way fridge, we can use the electric, we can use the gas, and then I showed you the little button in front. We can also use that for when we're driving along. We've got a little 12 volt socket there. Look at that, a little 12 volt socket. Moving swiftly. Oh, we've got another skylight above. With a fly screen. Yeah. Um, let's have a look in here. Good area there. Oh, no, no, we couldn't put a port in there, no, could we? we? No, we're not. But we've got our. Look at that soft close. Hmm? You softly close it, it closes. That is an air vent. Yeah. Just fresh water only, and again, we're getting storage above. Now, this van gives you options, Kev. Gives you <coughs> options. I can sit out. I can chill out. Yeah. Yeah. But well, perhaps, perhaps. You could probably use that as a single. You, well, yeah, be a bit more I could use that as a single, Kevin. Yeah. No problems at all. So you've got two singles or a big door. I can make myself a cup of tea or anything at all. And I can have my cups on there or anything. Yeah. I bet you're going to say you could eat your dinner off there. Yeah. No. I'll show you where you can eat your dinner in a moment, Kevin. You've got the same thing there. If you've got company. We can always have matching. For beer and wine. Okay. That's what that's for. Yep. Beer and wine, got a bit of company, mixtape on, we're off. There we go. So this fan I said gives you options, Kev. As I'm always working, if I need to work on my laptop or when I've cooked myself a luxurious six course meal, I can then enjoy it. Beans on toast. <laughs> we can pull this out here, Kev. See that? A detachable center. We can pull that out there, Kevin. Yep. And then I can pull out this like so. I can pull out this like so. I can do that. I can put that in there, Kev. I can put that in there. And now I could work. You've got a workstation. I can nosy, look around. We can have a nice romantic meal together, the Kev, can't we? <laughs> look into one another's eyes like that. Ooh. Calm down. See? Perfect. Yeah. If I wanted to, Kevin, what have I got here? Lap belt. I have. I did have. A lap belt, mm -hmm. as one can see. And if you just want to show you the lap belt off, Kev. With a lap belt there. We've got it here. But you'd have to put a backrest on for that one. Yeah. A backrest on here, Kev? Yeah. Wrong one. 
Backrest. Yeah. Slots in behind there, Kevin. Can yeah. you see properly? Yeah. yeah. And then we just see that there? That locks it in. Mm-hmm. Was that good? Yeah. Impressed? Yeah. Starting to rain, Jason. Kevin. It's been really? my one to go to sleep. It's raining on my head. Sog somewhere there, yeah. Rain drops are falling on the head. So I will just swiftly move this out of the way, Kev. I am going to make my little camper van back. Can you see? Yep. Yep. I'm going to put that into place. And then I'm going to get my bag of tricks out. You see? Oh, big bag of tricks. I am then going to go one in there. You got this, Kev? Voila. Voila. Now, do you want a little stick or a big stick? I think in the middle, probably a little stick, I think. Doesn't really make a difference. Right. I will put that <coughs> on there. And I'll put that on there. What I'm going to do, Kev, that's going to, that's going to go there. Getting good at these, aren't I? Have you noticed? Yeah. No, I'd say that you bring those centre cushions over. I think so. So you did get it wrong after all, didn't you? Mm. We'll swap that around. Yeah, you've got the wide one there, yeah. Yeah. Good job we could edit this out, Kevin, isn't it? You can, you mean Finn can. So no one can see your incompetence. That's better. There you go, look at that. It's a good size bed that, isn't it? Good yeah. size, happy with that? Yeah, a bit of a tardis, aren't they, these row rooms? <clears throat> I yeah. really like them. The, the, do you know what, with, with camper vans and motor homes getting so expensive nowadays, right, you couldn't beat just, if you want to just get into camping, motor homing, whatever, Touring around, pottering about. And you couldn't afford more than one vehicle. <laughs> These are a great van because, like Kevin's just said, you've got the versatility of being able to go anywhere with this little camper van. And use it as an everyday drive. Yeah. And it gives you the chance to go away, explore our great country that we've got, or even other countries further afield. And you've got your what have you got? You've got your, your hops, you've got your fridge, you've got your grill, you've got a bit of running water. Get yourself a, a little porta potty. Or, or a spade. Or a, or a spade. <laughs> a little awning on the back if you wanted to. Yeah. Um, we've got storage underneath, Kev. Well, you can actually move that camera. Yeah. I think what you find with these anyway, people tend to probably take a small tent as well. Oh, here we go. We have a fresh water tank. Yeah. There's the inline pump. <laughs> Just as a quick tip, them in live pumps, they don't like to be drained down fully. No. They tend to airlock, so if you are draining your water down, try and leave a little bit in the tank. Yeah. Um, oh, we've got carpet in here, Kev. Look at this. Yeah. Carpet's in there. Well, that was our little cupboardy thing. Um, and there you go. Electric hook up, LCD unit. So we really, like, we really like these little round rooms, don't we? Yeah. They are a little bit bomb proof as well, aren't they? Yeah. They've been going a long time, haven't they? And they're just, they just, and they just but yeah, perfect, perfect. What do you think? They used to do on the little Citroen C15s, didn't they? Little demountables? No, the little Citroen C15. Oh, yes, they did. The, they? the yeah. seats were like like sitting on a bath sponge. <laughs> yeah. And they, they used to go forever, them little C15s. Again, service them, look after them. And you've got a good camper van that's going to last you a while. Not really an awful lot that can go, in, go wrong on them inside, is it really? No. no. Um, and like I say, we've got the fridge for if you're wild camping or just normal. But yeah, the Roma Home Duo Outlap, lovely little starter camper van for anybody.